and welcome to only connect the grand final. Every TV series ends. Not every series has a grand final. Gardener's World, for example, doesn't have a last climactic battle with the very toughest weeds, but we do. <laughs> this is going to be quite the standoff. Coming up later, we've got a couple of granite-hard connecting walls to test the razor-sharp drills of our relentlessly boring teams. <laughs> That's boring in the sense of rock, not in the sense of, you know, like a boring tool. A boring tool. Anyway, let's meet the tools. The teams. On my right, Tessa North. A museum volunteer who spent her recent birthday in a recreated Anglo-Saxon village and has been in close proximity to at least five Time Lords. Pete Sorrell Cameron, an actor and musician who has played the part of Rufus Wainwright's head from the back. And their captain, Richard Aubrey, a church choir leader and secondary school teacher who got stuck on top of Cape Town's most famous landmark and had to be retrieved by the local mountain rescue. United by an appetite for the orchestral, they are the string section. One of the string sections, I should perhaps say. You've beaten the headliners, the wayfarers, the scientists and the clue smiths to reach the final. How confident are you feeling of ultimate victory? With the calibre of some of the teams you've just named, it's... we're just impressed to be here. You've done incredibly well to be here. Very well done. Can you get further? The people trying to stop you tonight are... on my left. Barbara Thompson a retired NHS secretary and fan of black and white cinema who hopes to one day realise her ambition of seeing the lost classic Britannia of Billingsgate. Matt Beetson, an IT consultant who mistakenly thought he'd broken his arm when he was run over by a push bike in Nevada. And their captain, Gerard Mackay, a mass graduate who's been attacked by a goat and has on three occasions unexpectedly encountered a member of the royal family. United by a soft spot for strolling, they are the wayfarers. Gerard, you beat the bookworms, then you lost to the string section, who are here again tonight, then you beat the builders, beat the bookworms again, and won your semi-final against the Yorkers. What do you think about facing the string section for the second time? In the words of Vinnie Jones, it's been emotional. <laughs> and I shall be sorry to see either team lose. <laughs> you won the toss, so you will be going first. Please choose the first Egyptian hieroglyph of the final. Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. Ah, the music question. What is the connection between the clues you're going to hear? Here's the first. Next, please. Queen Dido. That's right. Right. Next. Yeah. We think they're all songs in Queens. They're all Queens involved. You are correct. They are all sung by queens. What did we hear? What was the first one? Dido's Lament. Dido's Lament. That's ah, it from Purcell's yeah. Dido and Aeneas. You didn't need to hear Let It Go from Frozen. Ah, right, I by, uh, Elsa the Snow <laughs> Queen, and then we would have had something from Camelot Queen Guinevere. Very well gambled after two clues. Three points to you. OK, string section, what would you like? Two reeds. Two reeds. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. To you. I'd love to hear a little bit more. Well, it's Liberian girl on bad. I, I, so they end in Iberian. Sorry. They end in Iberian. I mean, they do end on Iberian, so yes, I must yes, give it to yes. you. Actually, it's even more Iberian. What do you think the first clue is? That's Tiberian. And the next one, Iberian is that ancient Georgian kingdom. Liberian is the girl on bad. And the last clue... Siberian. Siberian. Very well done. Back to you, Wayfarers, for a choice. Uh, I'll the lion, please. The lion. OK. What is the connection between these clues... Here's the first. Next, please. Hector Mussolini. Not only else was. Next, please. Shot by Orcs. Oh, 
don't know this one here. This microphone keeps dying. Yes, yeah, oh, it could be. Okay. Oh, next, next, please. Oh, the deaths of one of them. It's, it, no, 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 it's... Three seconds. That's one, that's one. It's such to be Sean Bean. It's Sean Bean. Oh, deaths, of, deaths of Sean Bean. Ah, they are yes. deaths of Sean Bean mm. in various films. Good save from you there, Matt. Very Not good. all Bond villains. He's torn apart by horses in Black Death, which is a horror film <laughs> set against the backdrop of the 14th century plague, skewered by a grappling hook. Do you know over there? Oh, Patriot. Patriot Games. Patriot. No, it's The Island, which is a 2005 movie about an escape from dystopia. Who can tell me how Sean Bean dies in Don't Say a Word? Beaten to death with a shovel. Is he buried alive? Oh, He's buried alive by an excavation machine. He really has been very unlucky. He should be more careful. The field? Eaten by cows. Driven off a cliff by stampeding cows. Oh, That'd be the perfect yeah. answer there. But yes, all unfortunate ends for Sean Bean in various roles. String section, what would you like? Let's try the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Last one, please. Three seconds. No, that's it. The time's up. Wayfarers, do you want to have a go for a bonus point? Panthalassa was the big C. Big C, C yes. Paleo Tethys. They're all seas that C. don't exist anymore now. That's exactly right. Seas or oceans that no longer exist. Can you tell me about the areas where they were? Well, Panthalassa was all the seas joined together to make one big one, I take it. Quite. And the first one, well, we just had a Siberian question, so it's another one between Baltica and Siberia. Slide Mountain, separated North America from some volcanic islands. Paleotethys was uh, separated of what's now Central Europe and China. Well done. You get a bonus point. What question would you like? Uh, water, please. Water. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, they're ta tattoos, are they? Because he's had a tattoo on his. Should we try? Yeah, okay. We think they're tattoos. The people, the things on the right are tattooed on the people on the left. You are absolutely right. They are tattoos on the people on the left. You didn't need to see David Dimbleby and a scorpion. <laughs> he's got that on him. So, what are we looking at? Um, trouble is, I know Miley Cyrus, but I don't know who that is on the right of it's her. It's her grandma. Oh. What more touching yes. tribute to a grandma <laughs> yes. than to have her full face tattooed onto your skin? In 2012, Megan Fox had a tattoo of Marilyn Monroe removed from her arm. And I suppose they fell out. And Winston Churchill, of course, had an anchor and David Dimbleby you didn't need to see. String section, there is one question left. The horned viper, that's for you. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. It's the ends of. It's the end of this. No, he can do it. Oh, no, he Next. I need an answer. One letter. Might be something replacing. Replacing a BR. Not it, I'm afraid. So a bonus chance for the wayfarers. Yeah, I don't know if you know there's a replacement gun on there. Looks like that's the most enjoyable cut. No, that's too long. You don't know either. You're in the right area. We have fiddled about with what they call portmanteau words. So you know, for example, the word smog made from smoke and fog. If you broke it the other way, you get folk. 
Bombay and Hollywood, yes. you make Bollywood, but if you took the H the rest of the word, you get Hombay. <laughs> yes. Gigantic and enormous together make ginormous, or split it differently, you get egantic, and of course, breakfast and lunch make brunch, but if you take the L rather than the BR, leckfast. At the end of round one, the string section have two points, the wayfarers have seven. <laughs> Yes, the sting played by a live quartet as usual. Wayfarers, you'll be going first again for round two. The sequence is round. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. These are going to be picture clues. They will come in a sequence. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. <laughs> uh, next, please. It's Astro um, Dimaggio. It's uh, Madonna Vogue. Uh, not so Peter Cantor. Dimaggio. Dimaggio. Marlon Brando. Fred Astaire. Shall we try Fred Astaire? Go for it. We're we'll going to try Fred Astaire. Not the answer, oh. I'm afraid. So I'm going to show the third in the sequence of the string section for a possible bonus point. Jimmy James Dean. James Dean. James Dean. The answer is James Dean. Yes. Now, I think you recognised it, Matt, very quickly. What is the sequence? It's the sequence of uh, the spoken lines that Madonna says in the song Vogue. That's it. Have Dietrich that. and DiMaggio, Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean on the cover of a magazine. Well done for the bonus point. Which question would you like for yourselves? Two reads once again, please. Two reads. OK. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Next, please. Oh, scores in something other. Next, please. Wow. Um. Any, any clues at all? This is not going well. Three seconds. One. Old. Not a sequence that I can think of, I'm afraid. So, Wayfarers, you've got a chance for a bonus point. I'd say To the Sun. I mean, that's incredibly impressive. The answer is To the Sun. Very well done. What are we looking at? Uh, well, hidden is uh, the derivation of Krypton, which is element 36. Krypton Le comes from the Greek kryptos, kryptos meaning hidden. Hidden. Uh, lazy is Argos in Greek, so it gives us Argon, element 18. New is neon, element 10, and helium is from the sun, that's element number two. They're all the noble gases working backwards. That is what's amazing about this question. So much is going on. Very well done. You get the bonus point. I will punish you, though, by giving you a question of your own. Which would you like? <laughs> I'm going to try a uh, horned or horned viper, according to taste. <laughs> OK, the horned viper. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Uh, next, please. No, I can't see this at all. No point. OK, string section. Do you want to have a go for a bonus point? E-G-E. -E. Is the right answer. Wow, you're all being very impressive this evening. I thought nobody would get that. Why is it E-G-E? -E? And George the First, George the Second, George the Third, George the Fourth, William the Fourth, Victoria, Edward the Seventh, George the Fifth, Edward the Eighth, George the Sixth, Elizabeth the Second. You are absolutely right. They are little threesomes of British monarchs going forwards, and the next three would be Edward, George, Elizabeth, known by E-G-E. -E. Very well spotted. But you get your comeuppance as well with your own question. Which one? Of the twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. What's it in? 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 What's it Uh, 
next, please. You know what it is? It's um. One D equals one D. Is the right answer? Yes. And why would that be? It's the equivalent units on Mars, isn't it? Earth to Mars? Oh, no, it's not so complicated. <laughs> Do you know what it is over there? Well, yeah, it's, de it's expressing in decimal the number of ones there are in a day. And that's exactly right. Yes, it's the 24-hour clock in decimal time. In decimal time, there are 100 seconds in a minute, 100 minutes in an hour, and oh, yeah, 10 yeah. hours in a day. So, you know, one second becomes 0 0.864 seconds. So not quite what the sequence was, but you gave me the right answer, so well done. Back to you, Wayfarers, for a choice. Uh, water, please. Water. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Those fish muggers. Shit, they freak out. Try next, please. What is the first one? I don't know. I think the goldsmiths. Mm, it's a good try. Should we try it now? Because we won't know it from the third, will we? Trying first goldsmiths. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So I'm going to show the third in the sequence of the string section for a possible bonus point. First. Cordwainers. Not it. The answer is first Mercers. What's the sequence? Livery companies. Order they were formed, is it? Yeah. In a way, no, it's not chronological. It's an order of precedence that was set down by a sort of group of aldermen in the 16th century, and they, you know, they, they abide by it today. But in that order of precedence agreed by the livery companies themselves, Mercers would be the most powerful. So no points there, but one more question. The lion, that'll be for you, string section. Well, well, it's a music sequence, so I want to know what you'd expect to hear as the fourth clue. Here's the first. It's a hymn, it's a hymn. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, I'm in the glory. I'm in glory. It's not a place like time. Um, see, see the conquering hero comes, is the original. Um, Three seconds. Sorry? Forever and ever, amen. Well, forever and ever, amen. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Yes, Wayfarer's chance of a bonus point. Rule Britannia. Is the right answer, and why is that? It's the... the fantasy get... on sea shanties. Or... On British sea songs from mm. Sir Henry Wood. Next would be Rule Britannia. I think uh, I would normally ask you if you could sing it, but we can perhaps do better than that. Perhaps they can have a go over there. Let's hear a bit of Rule Britannia. <laughs> End of round two, the string section have six points, the guest string section have two points, and the wayfarers have nine. <laughs> and we move on to our final pair of connecting walls for the series. The first one will go to you, at string section. You'll be going first. Which would you like, lion or water? Let's have the water this time, please, Victoria. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. OK. That's the alphabet. That would be amazing to know. Yes, yes. 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 yet. Nine. Maybe not like a number. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. That would be easy. Um, alphabets. Um, no, no, it's the end of a word. Yes, and the same with. Oh, no, that might work. For charities. And ends of charities in general. Oh, freaks. I know. Aunties. I don't know. Yes. But it looks like I mean, we'll be to that go like the end as well. down that way. Mm. Yeah, 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 maybe just very quickly. Very well. do, oh, do, I think she did that one. Um, let's just. Yeah. Don't think this is going to be. Well, anything. we'll be out of tries if you do find the right one. Precisely. I can't. I've also locked up. I've also done a little. 
um, the thirteen and on the nose. Um, on the, can you have on the nine, maybe? No, 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 like is that the end of something or is that the, is that a, that's pain? Um, okay. Tone. Could be, it could be in. Um, what if it is the end of stuff? It would be Sound. that one. Pain. Pain. They seem a bit big though, don't they? Yeah, they do. I don't know. This is not going to be as versatile. Twenty seconds. The end of something. Yeah, we we'll really don't know. I think it's the see this. Good, great. Um, <sighs> touch, you can touch in there. Five seconds. No, that's it. You're out of time and the wall is frozen. Oh but you found a group, no mean feat, on this wall. I'll give you a point if you can tell me the connection starting niet or neat or night. No in a variety of languages. No in a range of languages, that's right. And, of course, you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There you go, that's how it should have looked. What about that green group, NATO or NATO, NARDO? Oh, it's the ends of... It's an, is it, are they in Much Do About Nothing, but say Shakespeare? Yes, I can. Uh, ends of Shakespearean um, characters. They are the ends of Shakespearean characters. Very well done. I'd love you to tell me something else, if you can. They all begin at Leo. If you put Leo at the start of all of them, Leonardo, Leonardo, Leontes, Leonine, all end up in Shakespearean characters. Very well spotted. I didn't think you saw that at all during the wall. No. <laughs> and what about the pink or purple group starting nerve? You can get on someone's each of these or touch on them. N I don't think you can get on someone's nape. You're going to kick yourself. They're just parts of the body. And the last light blue group is starting Nyssa or Nyssa. Yeah. They are Greek figures from Greek mythology. They are not. They are plants. But you did find one group and you told me a couple of connections, so that is three points. Let's bring in the Wayfarers now, give them an equally horrible final connecting wall and see what they can do about solving it. It'll be the lion wall for you, two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. What is father? Murder. There's other mothers there as well. What's this? So this looks like something upside down. Is this I dot of the end? <laughs> As if it might be Sanskrit or something. Matsya. Try it. Brain mantis. Three strikes, of course. Plenty of time. So that's Martin, no, that's Martin with an E, isn't it? Martin. Martin. Matthew. Matthew Mathias. Oh, Martin and Rock, we had that and it was uh, wasn't right. Dean Martin. That's in Mantis, except Praying Mantis. It's, uh, I don't know if it's anything that links to a Praying Mantis. Is no. it an anagram of anything? No. No. Nice. Yes. No. I think we're going to have to stop. We've only got three guys, though. Mantis, so. yeah. Sure. So, 30 no. seconds. Arc, ink, no, 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 ash, and Ollie, no, no. <laughs> it's a long shot. Uh, Antis, ink, arc, punch, Tin, one more go in 10 seconds. <laughs> That's it. You've had your three goes and the wall has frozen, but you found two groups. And, of course, I'll give you points if you can tell me the connections. The first blue group starting mutter. They're all foreign words meaning mother. That's right, not mutter, of course, but mutter. The second green group. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. What's that? Well, Sanskrit words for parts of states of India. Or... 
I'm afraid they're not. They are Sanskrit words, but they are for tantric rituals. But I will give you points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There you go. Molly, Martin, Mantis, Mink. No coat. No nope. Fur coat. Nope, that's not it. You're going to kick yourselves. They're, they're just animals. And the light blue group. Matthew, Mark, Matthias, Mash. Biblical characters? They're all biblical characters. Biblical you don't know Mash from the book of Genesis? <laughs> A more obscure character, <laughs> maybe, yeah, but they are all yeah. biblical characters. So you found two groups and you gave me two connections as well, so that is a total of four points. Let's have a look at the scores. The string section have nine points, the wayfarers have 13. Missing vowels time. This is where the championship will be decided. Fingers on buzzers teams. The first group are all a king and an actor who played him on screen. Wayfarers? Henry V, uh, Damien Lewis. Not right, I'm afraid. String section, do you know? Henry V and Damien Lewis. No, that's not right either. Henry VIII and Damien Lewis. Next clue. String section? Henry V and Dominic West. No. Wayfarers, do you know? Henry VII and Dominic West. Is correct. <laughs> Next clue. String section? Henry IV and Jeremy Irons. Correct. Wayfarers? Oh, I Too long, I'm afraid. String section? Henry V and Lawrence Olivier. Well done. Next category. Words that look like they should rhyme but do not. String section? Cough and bow. Correct. String section? Drought and thought. Correct. String section? Laughter and slaughter. Correct. Wayfarers? Plower and rougher. Correct. Next category, questions a waiter might ask. String section? Black pepper. Correct. Wayfarers? Would you like to know the specials? Not it, I'm afraid. String section? Would you like to hear the specials? That's right. No time for another clue because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz and I can tell you that finishing with 15 points, the new champions of Only Connect are the string section. Very well done to you, extremely well quizzed. Wayfarers, you're an honourable second with 12 points. Very good quizzing over there as well. Well done, all of you. You've had a really great run and you guys particularly. Many congratulations. So that's it. The night is over and we have new champions. Now for our fabulous closing ceremony and the string quartet is going to play us out. I know, it's gone crazy. That's the thing with television, the money is just mad. A quartet in here, out the back we've got a full orchestra doing the catering. In my dressing room, I no longer have a mirror, I've got a trained mime wearing a perfect replica of my clothes. These are the end times. Goodbye.